Hey guys, today we're going to go through and do a bit of a tutorial of how we weld our tanks, uh, the preparations that we do and also some of the settings we use on our welder. First and foremost, when it comes to welding stainless, preparation is key. Uh, the stainless that we use has a protective filming, a uh, plastic protective filming. Make sure that's all off, otherwise you're going to get fumes, you're going to get all rubbish caught up on the inside. It's just going to not weld really good at all. Now, when it comes to the settings, settings on a welder is a very personal thing. Um, it's going to change between person to person, but this is what I use. Um, the outcome is that I will get a non peno weld on these tanks. They don't need to be structural, it doesn't need to have penetration, they just need to be a sealing weld. So guys, when we're welding, we use the pulse function, obviously a DC. As you can see, my pink amps are at 50. If I go down my low amps, or when it's on the lower the pulse, is at 36 amps. Uh, the frequency of the pulse per second is we do eight, eight pulses per second at 50%, so it's 50-50. We don't have any ramp down. Our finishing amps are at 10 and our gas post flow is one second. This is just to ensure that no contaminants gets into the world um, when there's no arc, and as the world is cooling, it's still shielded by the gas. Um, our start off, our, our pre-flow is at uh, 0.5 of a second. Uh, and our starting amp is actually at 30, and it ramps up at half a second to get to 50. So they're just some of the settings. Our gas flow is uh, at 13 litres a minute as well. When it comes down to welding, obviously PPE is key, gloves and a helmet. If you don't have a helmet, don't weld. <laughs> um, now, before you start doing the weld, because we are wanting to do non-penetration, the joint of what we're actually welding is crucial. You won't be able to do a non-penetration welding very easily if it's not literally touching, if, if, if it's not a perfect joint. As you can see here, running along here, you cannot see daylight. So literally, it's just gonna be fusing. Same along here on all of the corners, you can see ev pretty much every point of this world, or to be welded, is, is touching. And that's, that's actual key. First and foremost, when it comes to actually starting the welds, we tack every single corner, and we also tack in the middle. That way that there's no movement, and you can just fuse well across all in one hit. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alright guys, now that the tank is completely tacked, now we can go through and actually uh, weld this thing out. What we do to ensure that we have a non-penetration weld and that the, the actual welding on the side doesn't oxidise is we use our aluminium backing bars. Because we weld so many tanks, as you can see on this, on this bench here, we have these already set up with our little C-clamps here. This actually helps to create almost like a purge bar, so to speak. And that's one well done. Another key important thing about when it comes to welding is being comfortable. If you're not in a comfortable position, you're not going to weld very well. So you have to make sure you're comfortable.
once you go through and you finish welding, it's always good to keep your keep the tip of the, the tungsten um, over where you finish welding. That way the shielding gas is stopping any of the contaminants, any of the oxide coming in there and ruining the end of that weld. As you can see there, it's a fairly consistent colour. Alrighty guys, now that we've finished this tank, I'll show you the inside. You can have a look on the inside there, there's no burn through, it's a complete non-penetrated weld. And as you can see, the actual burn mark hasn't flared out a long way at all. So when it comes to our next process, which is actually polishing this, this will come off, uh, the actual burn mark will come off really, really quickly. One of the reasons why we actually use a pulse setting instead of just using a non-pulse has got to do with one, heat, so that we don't put as much heat into it. Two, it's got to come down to the polishing. We found after thousands and thousands of tanks that when you have a pulse setting, especially higher up in the pulses per second, the time it takes to clean the world is dramatically reduced. So, and that's just something that we've just come across over the thousands of thousands of tanks that we've done. All right, guys, and there you have it. That's the best settings that we have found in our scenario uh, to weld these 1.2 millimeter uh, tanks with a non-penetration weld. The next phase, or the next part of this, is actually to go through and polish and get rid of all this weld burn, and that's coming out next Friday. So stay tuned, guys.